Good day, my brother and sister. Welcome to the channel. Uh, brothers and sisters, welcome to the edition. My brother and sister, today I'm filled, I'm, I'm in high spirits because truly God is good, God is good. As I record this, this is the 1st of June, 2022. 1st of June, 2022. You made it, I made it, and I'm very excited to share this word with you. Uh, you know, I've been going through a lot of spiritual attacks, spiritual things, in the month of May, it was very tough. I, I, I didn't necessarily share everything, but it was tough. Every day was just tough for me. And by the grace of God, He, he allowed, He gave me the strength to, to pray, to pray it away. I was casting out, uh, 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 cursing out declaring, decreeing, and declaring the blood of Jesus over so many situations that were oppressing me. But by the grace of God, by the grace of God, here we are. And I'm excited to come and show, um, share this word with you. My brother and sister, let me just jump straight into what happened. So last night I had a lot of dreams, but these dreams were different to the dreams I've been having. You see, I've been having dark dreams. I've been having dreams that had me praying in the middle of the night. But last night, one of the dreams I had. Uh, I was back home in my grandmother's village or my grandmother's home and the whole family, my my aunts, uncles, we were on the yard, we were singing, we were celebrating, it, we were just worshipping, pr like praying, singing. It was such an amazing dream. And then sometime later I had gone to a shop and I was buying something and as this woman who was serving me was handing me back um, like a receipt she said to me this is what she said she said it has been fulfilled that's what she said she said it has been fulfilled and you know I, I didn't understand what she meant but I knew that like it can only mean something good other things happened in that dream that was very personal, but I won't share on the channel or right now. Let me say I won't share right now. But I just want to hang on to those words. That woman said it has been fulfilled. And my brother and sister, today as I was going through my day, I couldn't help but think of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, when the Lord took him in spirit, the Lord took him into the middle of the valley and he had to prophesy to dry bones. And I, I just, I don't even want to try interpret this. I want you to go on this journey with me. I want you to, 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 to go with me and we go to Ezekiel chapter 37. Read this verse with me, read this chapter with me rather. This is the value of dry bones. And I'm starting with verse 1, Ezekiel 37 verse 1. It starts by saying, The hand of the Lord was on me, and, the, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and he set me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth amongst them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of of men can these bones live son of men do you think your situation can change son of men do you think there can be resurrection in this place of death I said sovereign Lord you alone know sovereign Lord you alone know that's what Ezekiel said then he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the Lord this is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones I will make breath enter you and you will come to life I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin I will put breath in you and you will come to life in the mighty name of Jesus, then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded and I was prophesying. As I was prophesying, there was a noise and a rattling sound and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come 
and breath from the four winds and breath and breathe into the into the slain that they may live so I prophesied as he commanded me and breath entered them they came to life and stood up on their feet a vast army a vast army right then he said to me son of men these bones are the people of Israel these bones are you these bones are me they say say they say our people are dried up and our, our hope is gone. We are cut off. That's what the people of Israel were saying. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, my people, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. That when I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put Put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land then you will know that I the Lord have spoken and I have done it declares the Lord he says you will know that I the Lord when I speak it I have done it in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother and sister, as we go into this month of June, I want you to know in your heart it has been fulfilled. If you are currently going through the spiritual battle, if you are currently going through the tormenting, I want you to speak life into it. I want you to cancel out and I want you to declare it null and void what the enemy is trying to do. I want you to cancel it and declare the blood of Jesus over it. And when the Lord comes and tells you that it has been done, I want you to hold on to those words and what should you do you should say dry bones as the Lord has said it I prophesy that it has been done in the mighty name of Jesus why because this is our God and he says when he has said it it will come to pass it is done it is done it is fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus brothers and sisters I hope you have an amazing month I hope it doesn't matter where you are in this situation just yesterday I came here oppressed just yesterday I came here with an heavy spirit but I have been telling you that what I have been doing is turning to prayer what I've been doing is turning to praise what I've been doing is saying God you have only given me one weapon and that weapon is the word of prayer that weapon is the the word of prayer that's what I have that's what I have so I will pray Lord and I will beg you for mercy and I will beg you to intervene and I'll beg you to do something about the situation but when the Lord comes and tells you that it has been done when the Lord comes and tells you that it has been fulfilled you better walk into that prophecy and you better hold it and say and believe that it has been done in the mighty name of Jesus it has been fulfilled it has been fulfilled it is done it is finished believe it walk in it in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen